Hey, Jane, when you were on the Pac-12 webinar a few weeks ago, you talked about your interest in watching other quarterbacks from your class. Um, when you look at Keaton Slovis, what stands out to you about his game and how excited are you just for the duel between you guys considering the expectations you have? Um, you know, I'm very excited for the duel between us. Um, I was able to play in the game last year. So uh, just being able to play against him this year, something to really stand out for me watching him is just, you know, he's a good quarterback, accuracy, he's very accurate. Uh, he has control of the offense. I'm pretty sure he has more control of the offense uh, year two. So just going through that and be able to just process information and just make any any type of throws that he need to. Hold. Hey, Jaden, without going into details, obviously, do you feel from the first day you started to implement the game plan of you against USC uh, on the practice field, do you feel that it went really through a lot of changes? And I guess, is that just like part of still the learning curve that you're going through with this scheme? I mean, with the scheme that we put in for USC, uh, it's a good plan that, that we have. Uh, you know, Coach Hill and the staff did a great job getting together the game plan. But, I mean, it's not really that we changed a lot. Um, we just – what we're good at, we implemented it. We just have different type of wrinkles on, on stuff. But, you know, it's just a great game plan that we have. Zach. Hey, Jaden. After talking to a couple of Rashad White's former coaches, it's become clear that his, uh, his determination and passion for football – is really what drives him. Can you can you tell me a little about your new starting running back? I you know Rashad is a, uh, a great running back. You know, he's a smooth guy. Uh, everything's pretty much natural to him. Um, and then going out there, you can see that he's very motivated and determined to, to prove people wrong. You know, he he wasn't the type of guy that had a lot of offers out of high school. He had to take the JUCO route. So you know, uh, a lot of those JUCO guys they come in with a with a chip on their shoulder, very hungry to prove people wrong of what they missed out on in this past time. So, you know, he's very motiv motivated and determined. Chris. Jaden, two-part question. Uh, I know that not all 3-3-5s are the same, and so USC will be different than what you guys, uh, ASU, ran last year. Um, but what, what are some of the main similarities or differences? And then also, uh, what's your sort of sense about uh, how playing with 5 DBs and you going up against five DBs regularly in practices, the uh, you know how that may or may not uh, affect this game. Uh, you know, the, uh, like you said, three three fives are different for everybody. Uh, USC they do a lot. Um, me just going back and watching film, they do a lot of uh, just different. They mix up a lot of different things, a lot of different blitzes, coverages, uh, try to confuse you. So um, from what we've seen in the past here, uh, it's kind of similar in a way. Uh, just they're trying to confuse you with what's going on. Uh, disguising coverages, um, disguising blitzes, bringing uh, pressures from different uh, areas in the, on the field. But I mean, uh, going up against five DBs uh, each and every day, I don't think it'll affect the game. It's just what they're trying to do, uh, the scheme against us, we're scheming against them. So I just go out there and play football at the end of the day. Jacob. Jaden, we spoke with Donovan West yesterday, and he talked about how there are a certain set of challenges that come with facing a front like USC's. What do you perceive those to be for your offensive line, and in what way will they have to handle those? You know, going up against a 30 front, uh, you know, it's not a regular defense, forward down linemen. Um, you know, you're going to deal with a lot of different stunts, twists, uh, different type of pressures that are coming from. So just for the offensive line, you know, it's just all about communicating, uh, making the right calls, and uh, really just being on the same page with each other. Tressa. Hey, Jaden, thanks for your time. I mean, now we're just a few days out. We've been talking about this forever. But what are your impressions and just how excited are you for the Pac-12 to be playing football and to go out there and have this opportunity? Uh, me personally, I'm very excited to go out there and be able to play football again, you know. Uh, Last game I was able to play was uh, on New Year's Eve. So to be able to go out there, uh, put the pads back on, go and compete against somebody else other than the ASU, that's going to be a fun one. Jeff. Jaden, if the offense, uh, if the offense is uh, effective and operates the way you and Zach wanted to right away, what, what are, what's it going to look like? What's going to be the tip-offs that it's working the way you both want? I mean, uh, is everybody on the same page? Uh, me making all the uh, making the throws I need, receivers catching the ball, offensive of line block, blocking, running backs uh, carrying the ball. It really, I feel like uh, executes the way that we want to. You see a lot of points being put up on the board. Michael. Yeah, Jaden, to kind of piggyback off that, I mean, obviously with not having the spring with everything that happened, but 
Zach coming in as offensive coordinator, I mean, through the, uh, I guess, through the mock game and even now through putting in the game plan for USC, how do you feel that your, uh, your communication is uh, with uh, Coach Hill and just even in making adjustments and tweaks that you're seeing and what might work for the game plan? Hey, Coach Hill, uh, the relationship that we have, have that we have built over this time uh, is just growing and growing each and every day. Uh, really, just the only thing that, that he asked me, and he makes sure I'm comfortable with the game plan. I'm comfortable. He, he tells me, go look over the game plan we have. Is there anything I don't like? Because if I don't like it, then we'll just throw it out. Or if I'm, I don't have any type of gray area with it, because he just wants me and the whole offense to go out there and just play fast, uh, not really do too much thinking, play fast, be physical, and uh, be able to score points. Two more questions. Joey. So, Jaden, you, a lot of your teammates are going back to Southern California for your first game this season. Season opener on national TV. And one of those USC defensive linemen, Nick Figueroa, is one of your old high school teammates. Does this game mean a little more to you? And have you kind of had to prepare differently those emotions before this game? I mean, me personally, I'm not really an emotional type of guy. I let emotion get in the way of the way, I, in the way of me playing. But, you know, me and Nick figure out we go way back. So it's going to be uh, old times. It's going to be fun times. Even with a lot of the guys at USC, uh, it's going to be fun to uh, be able to play against them and hopefully come out with a win. Last uh, question, Jacob. Jaden, I'm curious what it's been like for you to, to be able to work with a healthy Cade Cody. He said that he's never felt the way that he does, like, right now. And I'm curious, for your perspective, what it's been like to work with him. I mean, uh, Cade, he has experience here. Uh, Unfortunately, he had injuries in the past, but, you know, he, he's a, a good center. He's able to make the calls, uh, communicate with the O-line, and they're all on the same page.